Hello. Hello. Good morning. Shout out to Num Nexus. Unlike David, I give credit. But uh, what's going on, you guys? We are here. There's so many people in my house. Kelsey, say hi. Hi. Jamie, say hi. Hi. Ralphie Trey. Ralphie Trey. Getting phone numbers all day. <laughs> Luke, say hi. Hello. Should we bum rush Summer into it? We should. Oh, never mind. Their door's closed. Fuck it. Open their door. Anyways, do it. We're here for day one of our adventurous vlog series, mini series of sorts. A lot of you guys know I have visitors in town, and whatnot. We're going to the biosphere today, which is uh, something U of A did for their science department and whatnot. Uh, it's a three-acre greenhouse, and it's gonna be fun. And it's gonna be hot. And we're gonna vlog and experiment with it all and hopefully you'll see quit in summer sometime soon we're gonna pile into wesley and make this shit So we made it to the biosphere. There was a nice lady inside. Her name was Brenda. And she let us know where to go, how to get down to there. Bars. They told us to go through this whole thing. It's gonna be uh, a mile and a half of walking. Biospherians lived here and they worked up there in the various biomes where they conducted experiments and monitored something like 4,000 species of plants amounting to 20 tons of living biomass. But this highly publicized experiment eventually hit a wall. What the public saw was a failed experiment, but scientists saw no such thing. So we were never deficient in nutrients. However, we were very low in calories. That's Jane Pointer is a former biospherian. It was an incredible success. I mean, it was an engineering triumph. I bring people around Biosphere 2 all the time who really were a little unsure about the project. And once I've walked them through and they really see the incredible engineering that went into it, the science, what was involved in designing Biosphere 2, I mean, they're flabbergasted at what we managed to, to accomplish here. I'm going to go over just a couple quick dates and then we'll go on our tour. <clears throat> so the land for the biosphere was purchased in 1984 and the chief construction of the biosphere uh, from 87 to 91. The original eight biospherians went in for two years in 91. Columbia University uh, bought the biosphere in 96 to 2003 and then in 2007 uh, CEO Ranching and Development uh, purchased the biosphere. Soon after that, uh, the University of Arizona assumed management stewardship. And in 2011, uh, the University of Arizona was gifted the biosphere by CEO Ranching and Development. Okay, come on with me. Let's do this tour. Yeah! So, we just watched the introductory video for the biosphere tour. And this is biosphere 2, right? And Jamie on the way up here was like, well, where's Biosphere 1? And they were like, 
Biosphere 2 is a place where we can do research to learn more about the original Biosphere, Planet Earth. Plot twist! So since we're on a tour, I don't know how much uh, of us we're actually gonna have in this little vlog here because we don't want to be like talking and cracking jokes while the tour guide's trying to speak. You know, uh, they just asked where like the monkeys. Negro. I was gonna. They asked where the monkeys were in the rainforest, and I was like, well, <laughs> there was one you just saw here a moment ago, and Jamie's trying to walk in my own shoes. God damn it! We're about to learn about the oceans. So I'll be right back. Here I am. Okay, so we've explored the upper biosphere, and uh, now it's time for us to head down to the technosphere. We're going to be hosting a few raves down here, and uh, it's going to get kind of wild. They're passing out glow sticks before we head down. Okay, here is one of the areas I was talking about where it's much like a submarine door. You have to watch your step and your head at the same time. You have to step over the threshold and watch your head. This is a 200 foot tunnel into the south lung of Biosphere 2. At the end of the 200 feet, the tunnel gets significantly smaller. If you need, uh, if you need help, put your hand on the handrail on the left. Let us go carefully into the south lung. Remind the person behind you to watch their step. There's a threshold at the beginning of the tunnel, and there's a threshold at the end of the tunnel. Twit, you ready? Where is Twit? Twit!
spilled twig coming out of that. Bro, triangles? Working in the triangles? Go ahead. Where's the Where's the see it or not but this diaphragm this thing that's up here hanging from the ceiling because the other tour guide has the door open it's it's lowers but I don't think you, it's, it's raising up now just slowly but surely if we can keep it down here we are in the south lung of the biosphere I have to turn this down a little bit because of the echo here we are in the south lung of the biosphere. This big diaphragm, it's like a 12 ton diaphragm made of aluminum and rubber. The big geodesic domes that you saw as you were driving in are simply to keep the sunlight off the diaphragm of the south lung and the west lung. As the air fluctuates, there are 5.5 million uh, cubic feet of air in the biosphere, but it fluctuates, and as it fluctuates, that air needs a place to go. What it does is, it comes down the tunnel, and we just came down into one of the two lungs, and here we are in the south lung. system this ancient way of sharing water and all this and he, he hit us he hit us with like this 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 factoid and he said there are trees outside the biosphere as well and all and I was like wait he had to pause for a moment and speak about how science forward it was flabbergasted flabbergasted <laughs> there are trees outside the biosphere as well it's insane I've never seen outside trees before. You were in sixth grade and wrote that in your paper. <laughs> flung. You would flung, exactly. Okay, so the tour is over, and uh, this is actually my second time coming to the biosphere. So uh, it, I just relearned everything I learned before, you know, so my brain is twice as big. But we're going to go down on a self-guided tour now to go see the underwater part of the ocean biome and see how many of Luke's cousins we can find down there. <laughs>
time to color. Y'all don't understand. I went to the to the school for color. Cause I am colored. We about to go in. We about to go in. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I'm check going it out. in. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> it's mostly just us. Um, most of this video of me showing myself so I wear this. Yeah. Boom. So we're gonna draw some things now. Yo, tat, tat it up. Tat it up. Some dog. Okay. Some dog. All right. Um, some dog. Oh, it's D A D O. Oh, dog. 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 No. Some dog. We love. We got the angle. So, Go ahead. Inter no, interview, everybody interview, interview, interview Jamie. Interview Jamie. We got the angle. Jamie. So, what is your answer? Um, the square root of uh, seven is fifty-two. Hmm. Dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. My so question was. No, my question was. What is everyone's opinion? I'm a fish now. Did we all have fun at the biosphere? Woo! All right, so we got a $20 challenge going here. Twist about to break into this uh, residency on the Biosphere property. <laughs> As he kicks the door down. 